U.S. sixth-generation fighter jet just revealed. The United States may have just revealed its most powerful fighter on, wait for it, Instagram. This should be the eighth wonder of the world, firstly because it's on Instagram, which has never been done before, but also because within the outlines of the fighter depicted in that image lies a network of technologies that the world has never seen, and will probably never see, but still would be considered the most advanced in history. This new fighter and everything it represents is the focus of this video, including its capabilities, costs, and its bustling social media hype. Social Media Hype On July 1st, Lockheed Martin posted a series of images to its official Instagram account in celebration of the 80th anniversary of the firm's legendary Skunk Works division, the division responsible for a lot of the revolutionary aircraft Lockheed has produced. Most of the simple drawings posted on Instagram represented groundbreaking aircraft designed and fielded by the Skunk Works over the past eight decades, like the U-2 spy plane, SR-71 Blackbird, F-117 Nighthawk, and F-22 Raptor. But the final image didn't resemble any jet Lockheed Martin released in the past before. At the risk of becoming conspiracy theorists, many have theorized that this strange but futuristic drawing may actually be of the sixth-generation aircraft under development in the NGAD program. The United States Air Force has been funding the development of this new stealth air superiority fighter that's slated to replace the F-22 Raptor since 2014. Exact specifications have been shrouded in secrecy and mystery. But overviews and likely capabilities have been shared, and they are mind-boggling enough to discuss now. So, here are the capabilities of the fighter that may have just been demo-revealed on Instagram. That's still funny to say. NGAD Capabilities NGAD stands for Next Generation Air Dominance. It is the U.S.'s sixth-generation program tasked with developing the future-generation family of systems that will ensure air superiority for U.S. forces in the most challenging operational environments. The family of systems includes new sensors, weapons, unmanned aerial vehicles, and other technologies all led by the sixth-generation fighter referenced in Lockheed Martin's Instagram post whose capabilities, being the most decisive in the NGAD family, would be discussed now. Stealth Stealth is an advancement that has been here only one generation of fighters ago, but it's one that's here to stay. According to the Air Force's biennial acquisition report covering the fiscal years 2019 and 2020, the NGAN fighter maximizes its stealth features by taking an overall triangular shape, internally holding its payload, and having no distinct tail section, also known as vertical stabilizers. It is the first fighter in history to be unveiled with such a revolutionary design. Vertical stabilizers had always been required to keep an aircraft airborne until the concept of active flow control came to life in the $2 billion B-2 Spirit, the world's most expensive aircraft. Open Architecture Decades of history have taught the U.S. that an aircraft will always have room to be better, no matter how advanced it already is, especially with near-peer adversaries getting more near-peer by the day. As a result, the NGAD fighter will come with an open architecture that enables it to take on new upgrades easily and quickly. This way, the fighter will constantly adapt to new battlefield challenges introduced by the advancements of opposing militaries. To put it simply, the sixth generation NGAD fighter can be upgraded to become the seventh generation NGAD fighter years after it's fielded. Advanced Sensors and Weapons To gather relevant information about its surroundings quickly and act on that information, the NGAD fighter is fitting to wield the most advanced sensors and weapons to come out of the U.S. The sensors that make this possible come with maximum connectivity, in part thanks to the Air Force doing away with radars mounted on the aircraft for electronically configured smart skins integrated into the aircraft's fuselage. Information acquired by the fighter's sensors will be made available to other members of the fleet, whether sixth generation or not, to keep the entire fleet of friendlies abreast of relevant information in real time. Regarding weapons, the NGAD fighter is expected to be armed to the teeth with the widest array of advanced American guns, bombs, missiles, and laser-directed energy weapons. And according to Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall III, each NGAD fighter will be accompanied by two loyal wingman drones to perform submissions according to the orders of the manned fighter. While all of these capabilities are enough to salivate over and be wowed by, there is a huge factor that must be discussed if they would come to fruition. That factor is 
money. The Money Factor The NGAD fighter is estimated to cost a whopping $300 million per piece, and the Air Force reportedly needs 200 of them. Still, despite these high numbers, there are reasons why the NGAD fighter is such a great deal for the Air Force. And here are those reasons. 1. One NGAD fighter equals multiple legacy fighters. One of the most crucial differences between the NGAD fighter and previous top-tier jets is how the new fighter is being designed to operate alongside a bevy of AI-enabled drone wingmen. These wingman aircraft will use onboard AI to allow them to complete tasks as assigned by the pilot on board the NGAD fighter. They could extend the aircraft's sensor range by flying out ahead, its payload capabilities by engaging targets on its behalf, and even its survivability by absorbing missiles aimed at the manned fighter or by engaging enemy targets before they have a chance to fire their missiles. This manned-unmanned teaming of a single manned fighter accompanied by about two loyal wingmen could give the U.S. the same operational capability as an entire fleet of older manned air superiority fighters, such as the F-15 Eagle and F-22 Raptor. So although a single NGAD fighter may cost the same as multiple units of its predecessors, it also comes with capabilities equal to those multiple units of older jets and then much more. Two. New F-22 Raptors would cost $330 million. Many have questioned the wisdom of developing and fielding an entirely new air superiority fighter to replace the F-22 Raptor at all. After all, despite being the first and oldest stealth fighter on the planet, it remains the stealthiest and arguably the most dominant of the bunch. Rather than spending a fortune on a new jet, why not just build more F-22s? Well, the Air Force thought of that. Back in 2017, the Air Force commissioned a secretive study into just how much restarting F-22 production would cost, and the report's conclusions were bad news for Raptor fans. Because much of the F-22 production line was cannibalized for F-35 production after the Raptor's cancellation, restarting the production line would mean establishing new production infrastructure practically from scratch. In today's dollars, a batch of 194 new F-22 Raptors was projected to cost approximately $62.5 billion. That's an average of $330 million per fighter. So if the U.S. were to restart Raptor production today, each Raptor would likely cost the same as the modern 21st century NGAD fighter that would no doubt be more advanced than the Raptor. So why not just go with the modern 21st century NGAD fighter? Three. F-35 original unit cost exceeds $330 million today. Having already set the Pentagon back $400 billion and projected to cost $1.7 trillion over the jet's service life, the F-35 currently holds the record for the most expensive military program in history. Today, the F-35 is the most widely used stealth fighter on the planet, and so this massive cost is now being shared with the other 16 nations whose militaries also field the F-35. Thanks to this laundry list of customers and high production volume, the F-35 has a unit cost as low as $80 million. However, this wasn't always the case. Back when the F-35 began its production run in 2007, each fighter was significantly more expensive, reaching up to a whopping $331.5 million per airframe in today's money. This was far more than the Pentagon hoped for, but the F-35 was the most technologically advanced fighter of its time, and so the Pentagon had to go ahead with it. When the NGAD fighter enters service, it would no doubt be the most technologically advanced of its time and also the most dominating air superiority fighter ever, unseating both the F-35 and F-22 from their respective thrones. And with both the F-35 and F-22 costing a fortune themselves with their $300 million unit cost range, it's no crime for their more advanced sixth-generation cousin to cost about as much as they do. That is simply the going rate for air dominance. Air dominance ain't cheap. It's never been and probably never will be. If there's one country that's used to that fact by now, it's the U.S. With record-breaking defense budgets every year, the U.S. has accepted the need to spend a boatload to develop the most advanced technologies first. As a result, the U.S. Air Force has been the first at virtually everything, working alongside defense giants such as Lockheed Martin and its Skunk Works division to develop some truly remarkable aircraft. 
These include the world's fastest aircraft ever, the SR-71, the world's first stealth jet, the F-17 Nighthawk, the world's first fifth-generation fighter, the F-22 Raptor, and now, the world's first sixth-generation fighter, the NGAD fighter, according to an Instagram post. That's still funny to say. And to make it even funnier, subscribe to this channel and give this video a like. Thanks for watching.